You'll never be afraid of data breach again if you watch this. Your password is exposed in a data breach, and every nefarious hacker and fraudster out there knows it. How do you protect yourself? What should you do? In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know if your password is exposed in a data breach. And as a bonus, I will also give you tips on how you can make your passwords stronger. You log into your account and see that you have an alert on your screen. Hmm, you think to yourself, that's weird. I didn't log into my account today. You click the link only to find out that your username and password were involved in a massive data breach. Oh no, what do you do? Luckily, if you watch this video until the end, not only will I tell you what you should do during a data breach, but I will also give you some tips to make your password stronger. Without wasting any more time, here are the things you should do when your password is exposed in a data breach. Change your password. If your password was exposed in a data breach, change it. If you're like most people, you probably have at least one or two accounts with the same password for all of them. That's a big mistake since it means if someone cracks your password for one account, they could use it to log in to all of them. But what if someone has already cracked your password? Well, that's when things get really scary. Depending on which site they hacked and how bad their security is, they may be able to access all of your accounts, and not just the ones they hacked. If they were able to crack your email account, for instance, they could send messages from there to all of your friends and family pretending to be you, and no one would know the difference until it's too late. So what should you do if this happens? Change your passwords immediately. And don't stop there. Go through every account on which you have the same password and change them too. Sign out from all of your accounts. Right after changing your password, the next step will be to sign out from all of your accounts. The reason is simple. If someone else has access to your username and password, they can log into any account you have connected to it. If they know how to find an old account that still has an active connection, they could access it and any other sites linked to it just by typing in your username and password. This means that even if someone doesn't know what email address or username goes with the account they found, they can still get into any sites connected to it by simply trying variations on the username until something works. Once they've gotten access once, there's no way for them not to be able to keep coming back over and over again. So next time there's a data breach and your information is exposed, be proactive about protecting yourself by signing out of all accounts connected. Keep watching because in a minute or two, I'll tell you an alternative for password that you can use for your accounts. But before that, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share it with others also so that more people can watch this. Review connected third-party apps. Every company has a responsibility to protect their customers' data. When a third party connected to your business is hacked, it's not just a network that's at risk, it's the security of the customers who have entrusted the company with their information. That's why reviewing your connection to connected third parties is important when your password has been exposed in a data breach. This is because the connected third parties may have been hacked and could have been compromised by hackers who stole credentials and personal information. When you sign up for a new account on a site, you often have to provide your email address and full name, which can be used to find out more about you from other sites. For example, if someone hacks an account on one website and gains access to your email address, they may be able to find out more about you by looking at other sites that they know you are signed up for. They might also be able to see what other accounts you use or what devices you own. This type of connection is typically created as part of an agreement between two entities, and so it's important to make sure that you're aware of every agreement between you and any partner companies. Use a password manager to create and remember strong, unique passwords for all your accounts. So what happens when your password is exposed in a data breach? Well, you can just opt to change it, but here's the thing, changing your password every so often isn't really going to help you that much. You've got a better chance of keeping your account secure if you use a password manager. Password managers can create strong passwords for you and store them safely on your phone or computer. They also help you generate random numbers to use as security questions like, what was the name of your first pet? So no one can ever guess your answers. 
The best part about password managers is that they make it easy for you to keep track of all your logins and passwords from one place, so there's no more writing down codes or forgetting them. Remember this, strong passwords are one of the most important things you can do to protect yourself online. You should have different passwords for each of your accounts and make sure they're strong, unique, and memorable, but that can be a lot to remember. To help, we recommend using a password manager like 1Password and LastPass, which allows you to create strong passwords for all your accounts and then remembers them for you. It even stores copies of your social security number, so it's easy to recover if someone gets a hold of your computer or phone. Trust me, they'll never get into any of your accounts. Consider enabling two-factor authentication. If your password has been exposed in a data breach, consider enabling two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication, also known as 2FA, is a security measure that requires you to verify your identity by providing not just one piece of information, such as a username and password, but also a second piece, typically a code sent to you via text messages or generated by an app like Google Authenticator. In most cases, when you enable 2FA, you'll be asked to log in with both your password and an additional code generated on the spot using your phone or computer. A hacker would need both pieces of information in order to get into your account, which makes it much harder for them to get past security measures than if they were just trying to guess your password. There are many different types of two-factor authentication technology out there. Some are easier than others to set up and use, but all offer extra protection against hackers who want to access your personal information without authorization. Tips for a stronger password. Choose a complex passphrase. In the past, passwords were usually fairly simple, like password or QWERTY. But these days, hackers have gotten much better at cracking passwords. So you need to make sure your password is strong enough to stand up against their attacks. The easiest way to do this is by choosing a passphrase. A passphrase is basically just a sentence that you can memorize easily and use as your password. For example, I am so hungry, I could eat a horse. Passphrases are easy to remember because they're made up of words that are meaningful to us, and they're also hard for hackers because they're long and complex, and thus harder for them to crack. You can also use at least one numeral or symbol in your password. If you're able to remember it, why not add in some punctuation marks too? They can help spice things up a bit. Use unique passwords for different accounts. It's a good idea to use a different password for every account you have, but it's also important that you don't reuse the same password for any two accounts. If you're using the same password for multiple accounts and one of them gets compromised, all of your other accounts become vulnerable because they share the same password. Having different passwords also makes it harder for hackers to figure out which accounts are yours if they get a hold of one of them. Never mix business logins with the personal. Yes, I know it's cliche, but it's important to remember that if you're using the same password for your personal accounts as you are for your business, then if someone gets access to that account, they have access to everything. As I've mentioned, it's better to create unique passwords for every account. Also, use separate email addresses for each account. That way, if someone gets into one account and finds out your email address, they still won't be able to access your other accounts. Sounds repeated? Well, I just had to repeat it so that it sticks in your mind. With more hacks, data breaches, and corporate leaks occurring seemingly every day, it is more important that you know what to do if it ever happens to you. Not knowing what to do puts you at risk for identity fraud and having your personal information sold on the black market. So, what do you do if your email or social media password is one of the millions that has been compromised? Tell me your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Don't also forget to like this video and support the channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.